Hey, what's up? Hello. How's it going? Good. Hey, Matt. So, I thought I'd call you today because I wanted to talk to everybody about spring, summer um, storms <clears throat> and how that can affect your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. And um, not many people know this because we didn't make a huge deal of it, but our building at work got hit by lightning and <laughs> caught on fire. And I remember that so, well. Yeah, so we had to replace almost everything, including a new air conditioner furnace system. Mm -hmm. um, and so this happens, especially in the Midwest in our area. Um, so I thought I would call you and see um, kind of what you do. What, what technicians do to help protect homeowners, um, air conditioners. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you think about lightning and storms and, you know, we, the state of Kansas has, is like fifth among all the states for lightning strikes. So we get hit quite a bit. And we've even had one of the girls in our office, her own home got hit by lightning and it actually fried out, fried two circuit boards in her system. So Oy. a component in her furnace, a component in her air conditioner, and uh, really did a number on that. So we had to replace several components. But, you know, you don't think about it. Yeah, when we had that lightning hit in our office, you know, it hit the metal roof, um, started the fire, which then caused the fire department to have to put out the fire with hoses and water. So we had electrical damage, wiring damage, um, fire damage, water, it, everything from the hoses. It was a complete disaster. And so... You don't think about all those things, but you know, when lightning hits a building, um, especially a house, there's a lot of things that it can affect. It can take out little things like microwaves and televisions and stuff like that. But yeah, worst case scenario, the appliance that people want to do the best th job they can protecting because of how costly they can be compared to things like microwaves is their air conditioner and furnace. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as a company, we've tried really hard to be able to provide options for our homeowners to protect that system. So uh, things like uh, surge protection, you know, we, we think if you think about it, there's probably just about every homeowner I would think has some form of a power strip, you know, connected to the wall. And they've got a home theater system. Power strips connected to power strips. Yeah, yeah, and then on and on and on. Yeah, several of them. Uh, and, and the thing is, those power strips, a lot of times, are surge protectors. You know, mm -hmm. you can buy them without surge protection, but anymore, more and more homeowners are thinking... Yeah, I want to make sure I, I don't want to lose this television, you know, because I, <laughs> I'll, I'll get that surge protector to, put, to protect the television. Mm -hmm. And they don't think about how they have no surge protection whatsoever on their air conditioner and furnace. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that's an added service and product that we offer our homeowners because, Andrea, I've just kind of learned people do not want to have to replace their system earlier <laughs> than they absolutely have to. It's I get people all the time that are like, I just want to get a little bit more time out of it. I want to get another year out of it. Mm -hmm. And so we just want to always do our best to provide our homeowners options to protect their system, you know? And, so it's and like it, you can actually get a surge protector for your air conditioner. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It, it, it mm -hmm. goes outside. It can either go outside or it can go down at the breaker panel. But yeah, mm -hmm. it just protects the air conditioning unit outside specifically, and it protects that circuit. So if it does if you have a surge if your house gets hit um it absorbs it it takes it instead of it going into the air conditioner mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. can, can really save a homeowner a lot of money and a lot of headache more than anything it's it's not so much the financial aspect because a lot of times it can even turn into a home insurance claim mm -hmm. but the idea that you know a hundred degree day and i now have no air conditioning and through the whole insurance claim process and everything, it's mm -hmm. it can be without air for days, if not weeks. Right. You know? Actually, it might so. be worse if you have to go through insurance. Like yeah. it would just take longer because you're having to wait on other people oh, yeah. who aren't as concerned as you are. About are in an air conditioned office. Yeah, they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. they're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. Oh man, that's awful. Yeah. Have we? Have you run into that? Like. Um, like uh with with customers like you talked about us obviously and the girl in the mm -hmm. office like how often do you do you run into that where the problem well, was that it was a kind of an electrical malfunction yeah. due to lightning um, and storms and stuff yeah for sure there's actually a high efficiency motor in a lot of our furnaces today mm -hmm. that blow air through the vents and it's a very very high tech very sophisticated motor but it's very very nice and a lot of our homeowners have one 
we hardly ever have one of those fail. Mm -hmm. But I think it was last summer, there was a really bad thunderstorm. And I think we warrantied out four or five of them. And uh, we never have one fail. And Mm -hmm. I remember just seeing a sea of them. It felt like a sea of Mm -hmm. four or five of them laying on the floor in the in the warranty room that we mm-hmm. were getting ready to warranty out and i remember thinking i was like that's not a coincidence this was the day after a really really bad thunderstorm yeah. so we we, see, we do see that kind of stuff all the time unfortunately it's really tough to prove that a thunderstorm caused it mm. um it, unless it takes out several things mm-hmm. and uh so if it just takes out something like that it's impossible to prove to an insurance company that that's what caused it oh my goodness i never thought of that Wow. Yeah. Well, that's, so, yeah. So, yeah, just a simple surge protector that you could get through, like, us or, you mm-hmm. know, a, a company for your mm-hmm. air conditioner could could save you a lot of time and hassle. Headache. Money. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah. Muy so. interesante. Anything else um, that you would add to that? Yeah. Or? yeah, you know, a lot of the times, because of these thunderstorms, um, a lot of times houses won't get hit by lightning, but they'll have power outages. Mm -hmm. And with power outages, you know, we'll just be sitting in our house. There's a thunderstorm. All of a sudden the lights go out and they go out for a few seconds sometimes and come right back on. That can be very, very damaging for an air conditioning system. Mm -hmm. Um, I've seen it even happen in my own home. And I thought, oh, please tell me that wasn't running when it did that. You know, because what can happen is your air conditioner could be chugging along and working and all of a sudden the power goes out. So therefore your air conditioner turns off. And then immediately a few seconds tries to come right back on that can be really hard on the the big components in the system and we don't want it to turn off and right back on again that's very hard on it so there's components that we can install that it's called a hard start kit that Mm -hmm gives it some help getting started again if needed and so that's one component that i highly recommend and it like i said with the number of quick power outages and things like that that we deal with that's a component that is very very helpful so that thing can get back up and going even if it's a few seconds later it can start again really quick but um a hard start kit mm -hmm, and is that something that usually comes with an air conditioner or is that just an additional thing that you you yeah. you put on it like an accessory. <laughs> yeah, an additional, definitely additional. They don't the manufacturers don't put them in new air conditioners anymore. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it just it's one of those things that we just recommend based on need. If we see a need for it, really there's there's not a system out there that wouldn't benefit from it. Even if we don't technically see a need right off the bat, it mm-hmm. would benefit from it. Mm-hmm. And so we recommended that. And really the other component that we recommended, there's a, there's a component in these air conditioners now called a contactor. They've been, they've been around for a really, really long time, but that's like the switch for the air conditioner. So like the light switch on your wall, um, turns on the light bulb, but the light bulb is your air conditioner. This is its switch. And inside that air conditioner, that little switch is, uh, really the ones that come with most air conditioners are not very sophisticated and aren't capable of monitoring the power coming into your air conditioner. Whereas they make some now that do monitor that. So those times when you're in your kitchen and the families, all of a sudden the lights go out, Mm -hmm. you know, in the house because of a thunderstorm and everybody stops and all of a sudden the power comes right back on. Well, that moment when that happens, that again, that can be very damaging to the air conditioner if it tries to come back on again and the voltage, the power going to it, Mm is inadequate and so some of the controls that we're installing today are able to monitor that power that way if it realizes that that's not sufficient power to start this thing it won't start it it'll Mm -hmm. keep it from trying to turn on and therefore protecting your air conditioner and saving a homeowner like you said earlier Mm -hmm. headache hassle and potentially a lot of money yeah you know i never would have thought of that like because yeah that happens quite a bit actually that just you have that momentary power outage everything comes back on you're like oh no problem Mm -hmm. (laughs) but your air conditioner is like no (laughs) yeah yeah i've had it happen here and i just went oh man i hope that thing wasn't running when it did that because the power was only out for a couple seconds so it's it's just completely interrupting like the power into the air conditioner and it's getting it all off cycle and so now it's having to like work super hard and probably damaging itself in the process it, its hardest task is starting hmm. you know running the air conditioner really runs um 
with ease. It's mm-hmm. starting. It's starting that big thing that mm-hmm. is is difficult sometimes. So when running and then to being told to stop and then okay now go again, right? right that can be really tough on it. Right. And so, so if you're trying to make your air conditioner last as long as possible, then that would you be want to protect thing. it from yeah. things like that. So hard start kit, surge protection outside. Contactor, and, that and then that high efficiency high contactor, efficiency. that okay. nicer, more more intelligent contactor that can mm-hmm. regulate and just monitor power coming into the air conditioner. Between those three things, that is really the the, the three things that can really just that extra level of protection for mm-hmm. your air conditioner during those thunderstorms. Like I said, we often get okay. So cool. So very interesting. Thanks for the knowledge. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. All right, bye. bye. Okay. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any um, recommendations or um, ideas on videos that you'd like for us to make, uh, tips on anything having to do with your home's heating and air conditioning system, indoor air quality, humidification, anything like that, uh, we'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that you have. So just leave a comment below with what you'd like to see. And um, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. That's super helpful for us. And um, we will talk to you soon. Bye.